Joe. I hope everyone's doing great out there. Coming at you tonight with a haul video, and this is my haul from Rock and Shock Horror Convention. Now, as uh, most of you guys probably know by now, if you have watched my previous videos, um, I attended Rock and Shock Horror Convention um, last weekend in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts. It's a, a really um, solid horror convention. This year seemed a little slower than other years, but uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, I just hope that they keep doing it type deal, you know. Uh, but, you know, the, I, the screen panel, I will say, was pretty full. So, I mean, I, I just think maybe it's at such a big place. It's nice and spread out. Um, the crowds aren't, you know, overwhelming as, you know, some other horror conventions can be. So, it's like a... It's a decent sized con, but, um, you know, the lines aren't super long and y you can move away move around and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, it was a really good time. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let's just get on with the haul, guys. Um, first thing I did want to show the night before Rock and Shock, I actually had the opportunity to meet Joe Hill. Now, uh, if you guys are not familiar with who Joe Hill is, uh, he is a horror author Best known for being uh, Stephen King King's son, probably. Um, but he's he's an awesome horror author. Uh, definitely recommend checking out some of his work. He's probably best known um, for Horns, just because they adapted that into a movie star Daniel Radcliffe. But he's also made some other great books, such as uh, Heart Shaped Box and uh, The Fireman, which is his newest novel. Um, and he did Nosferatu, which is another good. He's a, he's a he's a pretty solid um, horror author. But, I was able to get Joe Hill here, as you can see his autograph here, to sign my Creepshow poster. Now, uh, if you're wondering, why did you get Joe Hill to sign a Creepshow poster if you aren't too familiar with why? That is because he played Billy, uh, the kid in Creepshow, uh, which is pretty funny. Uh, obviously, Stephen King was attached, you know, to Creepshow, you know, as a writer and as an actor, actually. Um, so, he got his son... Joe Hill to uh, appear in it. So Joe Hill was kind enough to sign that for me. So that was pretty cool right there. All right, so let's go right in now, guys, to um, everything uh, from here on out is what I obtained or bought from Rock and Shock. So the first item being, I got this for free, actually. They would just had it on the, uh, like on a table, it is a pretty damn cool Ash vs. Evil Dead poster with Glory, gory, hallelujah. Um, so a pretty uh, cool looking poster right there. Now the cast of Ash vs. Evil Dead was actually there. Um, I, I can't remember the names. Pa I, think his, I know his name's Pablo, but I can't remember her name. The two of them there, and they were actually signing for free. But the line was just like so incredibly long for the two of them. Obviously because they were signing for free. That I decided to uh, skip it just because... I didn't feel like waiting for a couple hours. Um, but it was super awesome of them to be signing for free. Um, they were signing those posters, uh, obviously. Um, but once they stopped signing, I just went over and grabbed them. They had a bunch on the table and stuff like that. Now, um, next item I got here. Uh, I was uh, it was awesome enough to meet uh, Chris Sarandon. Now, uh, you guys probably know Chris Sarandon best from Fright Night. And he was also the voice of Jack Skellington from... Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, but I got him to sign my Child's Play uh, poster up here. As you can see, to Joe, Chris Sarandon. He played, of course, Mike um, in Child's Play, who was the detective, if you don't uh, know for sure who he was. But, um, of course, I got, to I got to sign because, obviously, Brad Dorff, who played Chucky himself, obviously has signed this in the past. So, uh, we'd love to get more cast members. I know... Um, you know, Alex Vincent does quite a lot of them, the kid who played Andy. And uh, lately, um, the mom, I can't remember her name right now for the life of me, but she's been doing some horror cons too. So it would be awesome to meet her. I know at Texas Frightmare Weekend, Tom Holland is going to be there, who, of course, is the um, writer and director of Child's Play, um, I believe. I know he definitely wrote it. I'm pretty sure he directed it too, though. Um, I could be wrong about that. But I would love, obviously, to get uh, Tom Holland to sign this as well. So we'll definitely be getting that signed as well. All right, so now let's go into the items I got at Rock and Shock. Uh, the first item I got is a McFarlane toy, um, part of the Movie Maniac series, and it is an Edward Scissorhands figure. 
Now, uh, this thing is uh, very yellowed. It has aged quite a bit. Uh, still an awesome figure. I was able to get this for 10 bucks because of the yellowing. I talked the guy down. Um, he will probably come out of box just because of the, uh, you know, very yellowing of the uh, plastic here. But uh, just a really great detailed Edward Scissorhands. Man, McFarlane really killed it with horror figures in the... Uh, you know, I believe these came out in the late 90s, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, they really did an awesome job. As you can see, you get a good uh, view there of what the actual figure looks like, you know, out of box right there on the back. But a uh, really nice figure. Obviously, all of the McFarlane Movie Maniacs figures came with the, uh, you know, little st uh, movie poster stand in the back, too. So a great um, display piece. And, yeah, like I said, he'll probably be coming out of the box just because of the yellowing. I mean, he still looks okay. But he'll look a lot better out of the box. All right. Next item I got was um, this very cool Hostel uh, figure here. Now, this guy was only 10 bucks as well. Um, now, this is made by Metacom. I have never seen a Hostel figure before. So I thought this was like a really, really cool looking figure. There, as you can see from, of course, um, the original Hostel movie. Just, you know, obviously one of the dudes that would dress up to you know kill the victims there but a really cool figure um pretty damn detailed you can see this blood splatter going down his apron there and stuff like that um honestly looks probably good pretty damn good i think display just in box probably will not be taking this out because you know you can kind of see all of his display pieces and everything right in there so it's a really nice figure um you know this could probably come out of box because there's nothing super interesting about the packaging so he might be he might come out of the box we shall see but a really cool looking figure uh you know really enjoyed the first hostel movie probably in my opinion one of eli roth's best so uh was excited to get this just because you don't see a lot of like hostel like stuff out there now the next uh item i got was this really cool texas chainsaw massacre lunchbox um Kind of like you guys might have seen in one of my previous videos, um, the Freddy Krueger lunchbox that I got as well. But it's really cool. It's got, you know, it's a uh, tin and a really awesome image there of Leatherface um, with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre logo on it. On the sides there, you know, it kind of goes all the way around. It says, who will survive uh, around the edge of the lunchbox there. And then in the back, it just says Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the same image on the back, double-sided. Um, does not come with a thermos, unfortunately. I really think it'd be cool if these came with the thermoses as well, but they do not, and it's just kind of got a little, uh, you know, plastic hanged in there. But a really great display piece, I think. Um, or if you just wanted, I guess, to put stuff in it as like a, uh, you know, a little storage thing, but I, I mean, I think as a great, it's a great display piece. Um, all right, so I think we got just one more item here, and this is um, in my, probably, I think, the coolest item of the stuff I got. Obviously, they sell so much awesome stuff at Hard Conventions. I would love to have bought more and more stuff, but, you know, it's expensive going to the con and, you know, the auto, getting autographs and stuff like that, and uh, you really have to try to be... You know, you kind of got to discipline yourself or else you'd be buying, you know, stuff left and right. Um, but this one is awesome. Uh, so happy to get this. Another McFarlane Movie Maniacs figure. And it is Leatherface. And this, I gotta say, for, uh, you know, I think this is late, once again, late 90s. This package, this packaging is in amazing condition. There is no yellowing at all on this plastic um i believe this came out i mean it's gotta be i think it's 98 99 when this figure was released there and just highly highly detailed there and you see it comes with an awesome chainsaw and his mallet there yeah his mallet and you get the awesome uh texas chainsaw movie poster in the back and his little slot bucket there but just oh look at how insanely epic this thing is awesomely detailed um you know just uh you know, a spitting image of the Leatherface character, um, really there, and, uh, you see the back here, kind of some of the other part ones that were in that movie Maniac series, I gotta say, McFarlane really, I mean, killed it, it's unfortunate they don't make, you know, a lot hard, they really just only do Walking Dead stuff from what I see nowadays, they should definitely go back to making horror figures like these, um, you know, obviously NECA is the one kind of in the business doing detailed horror figures like these nowadays. But would love to see McFarlane make a resurgence because they have made some 
really, really kick-ass um, horror figures in this leather face. Is amazing. Um, love this thing. This is just, this was probably, you know, my favorite pickup. And only 10 bucks. so how the hell can you beat it? Um, yeah, so uh, that is it, guys. That is my haul from Rock and Shock. Um, let me know your favorite item or autograph or whatever it was. Um, but would love to see more of you guys at Rock and Chalk Car Convention next year. It is a um, definitely a solid con. They always have a lot of great celebrities this uh, this year. They had the cast, uh, two of the members of the cast, Scream, Skeet Ulrich, and Matthew Lillard. Um, and they had Malcolm McDowell there this year, and Chris Sarandon, and uh, a bunch of other people. Kane Hodder. I mean, it's a definite solid con. They always have some big names there. Bill Mosley was there, so they always have some solid names and. Uh, would love to see more, uh, more you guys out there, more horror fans uh, out there. Only ran into a couple of um, YouTubers this this year, um, but would love to run into more of you guys. So definitely come out to Rock and Shock next year if you can. And they also have a metal, you know, obviously the rock part of it is they have a metal show show um, next door at the concert venue um, all three days. So um, definitely some good music too. Um, so you know if you're into you know the metal you know, or like, uh, you know, hardcore rock genre, it kind of differs day to day, um, and horror, it's like a perfect con, uh, for you, and, uh, just a, a solid horror con in general, so we'll definitely love to see people there next year, um, but yeah, that is it, guys, I hope everyone has a great night, and we'll see you all real soon.